And now we are just one week away from the partial solar eclipse when the moon will block about 90% of the sun. CBS Philadelphia's Brandon Goldness spoke to an expert about why this year's eclipse will be unique compared to the one in 2017. Inside Rowan University's Edelman Planetarium. So this is maximum for us. That's what the sun will look like. Amy Barraclaw says this is what the Philadelphia region could see April 8th when the moon passes in front of the sun during the solar eclipse. It'll be 90% eclipsed for us. These are 20 by 80 binoculars. Wow. They're usually used on naval vessels. She says back in 2017, our region saw only a 75% eclipse. Eclipses are cool, whether or not you're in the path of totality. Cities like Cleveland, Erie, Pennsylvania, and Rochester, New York, are in the path of totality when the moon completely blocks the sun. Many people describe it as being life-changing because it really is vastly different. You have twilight all around you. While Philadelphia isn't in the path of totality, she says it'll still be an incredible experience, weather permitting. While you can safely view the solar eclipse that's simulated inside the planetarium, to view it directly from outside, you'll need special solar eclipse glasses. It's really fun to be able to see all these people gathering together to watch the same phenomena at the same time. Solar eclipse glasses are here. A time to stop what we're doing and watch our solar system in motion. Brandon Goldner, CBS News, Philadelphia. And all week leading up to the eclipse, go to cbsphiladelphia.com slash eclipse for more information. There you will find stories about everything from the best places to see the eclipse to how to make sure your glasses are safe. Check in each day to stay up to date on all your eclipse coverage.